This morning I woke, terrified of nothing. My anxiety already overworking itself, working me up to a state of near panic. I tried remembering that I am safe. It didn't help. I tried breathing slowly, but I couldn't. So my body tried to vomit out the non-existent toxins of which it believed itself afflicted. I doubled over. I fell to my knees and expelled everything. And in the slight pause between the release and the wiping of the mess off my beard, I had a moment of reflection. I began to laugh. How silly I thought to be so afraid of nothing. How ridiculous is my anxiety? What a joke. Looking down at last night's dinner, I felt empowered. But that empowerment was quickly quashed. A dead weight in the depths of my gut began to form. A weight so heavy that even the most adamant of retching couldn't dislodge. The laughter ended. New thoughts replaced old. And I realized that true nothingness is beyond terrifying. That the opposite of fear isn't calm. The opposite of sadness isn't happiness. The opposite of hate isn't love. No. The opposite of all those things, the opposite of everything, is a nothingness so vast, so all-encompassing, that I couldn't comprehend a merest portion. Awed by the paradoxical size of the nothingness, I wept. But then I laughed once more, for that weight in my gut and the sheer terror that it evoked told me that for now at least, I am living on the opposite side of the nothingness. My anxiety is right. I should be afraid. But I should also be grateful of the fact that I can wake, terrified, vomiting, and unable to slowly breathe.